I'm Christine from Pack Hacker. In this video, we're taking a look at the Bellroy Light Ready Pack, which I've been testing for two weeks. If you find this video helpful, click subscribe so we can keep making content to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. This is an 18 liter bag and it is super light and durable, water resistant, and also sort of packable. They say packable, but it doesn't like have a pouch it packs into. It's just, it packs down very small, like very thin. So you could like slide it under something in your travel backpack if you wanted to. Um, the material is a, let me check. Uh, light textured poly. That was a very specific thing they called it. But basically, look, you can kind of see this like diamond ripstop pattern on it. And it's got like a little bit of a sheen, but it's not too shiny, which is great. The sheen, I think, comes from the water resistant coating, which I have to say, so I was wearing this and I got caught in a deluge. Like I got soaked. And I just came in, just want to take everything off, set this down at my kitchen floor, totally forgot about it, came back, I don't know, an hour later, picked it up. There's a puddle on my floor, so it didn't absorb like anything. And inside I had a paperback book, I had tissues, everything was still dry. So while it's not waterproof, it's definitely very water resistant, which is great for something you're gonna wanna take outside. We've got these um, YKK zippers, and you can see they are the, the water resistant models. They are sti stiffer to open, but you've got these little loops to make things easier for holding and nice uh, heat shrink on the cords for grabbing. We've got the typical Bellroy logo here. And then also down here, very subtly, there's a bike light loop. So if you need it, it's there. If not, it just sort of blends in. There's this nice carry handle on top. It's just regular webbing, but it's very soft. So if you needed to hold it by that, it works out really well. Um, as for colorways, this is copper. And then let me check. We've also got chalk, which is off-white, shadow, which is black, and arcade gray, which is like charcoal gray, but then it has like a white grid pattern on it. So you have some options if you don't, you know, for whatever color you wanna go for. As for the harness system, this being a packable bag, obviously it's not gonna have the beefiest harness system that you'd see on a bigger bag. We've got this really nice, very squishy air mesh, air mesh, excuse me, back panel. And it's like so squishy. It's on the undersides of the straps too. So I had high hopes, except it is so very flexible. You can kind of see maybe like you can see stuff sticking out. So depending on how you have it packed and also your size, you can feel things through that. So do with it what you will. You know, you win some, you lose some. We've got Wujin plastic adjusters, which work really well, and then a little bit of strap keepers, although you can't put more than one layer in, so there's still some flopping for smaller people like me. And then the sternum strap. I didn't really use it much because there, I don't know, it's kind of hard to make this super heavy because it's so small, but you know, we've got this, it sort of like hooks with a slip knot onto whichever side you want and then in three different spots. And then there's this like hook that just hooks onto the other side and you just sort of click it into place. I don't know, I didn't, like I said, I didn't really find myself using it that much and I don't really feel like it does a lot, but if you need it, it's there. If not, you can really just take it off too. So in daily use, these wide shoulder straps and the, the cushy back panel, they really do a decent job of sort of carrying the load. Like I said, I didn't tend to use the sternum strap that much, but this way you can see what it, how it looks like. Um, however, like you won't be able to see, but I can feel right now um, a pouch or a bottle or something I have on the bottom here. So that tended to happen more with shorter users rather than taller, longer torsoed users. So you might not ha find that happening or you know, if you pack something flatter, if you're more careful with your packing, 
that definitely lessens that feeling. However, no matter what, I do kind of find it a little bit of a saggy bag because you can see that top pocket is really weighing things down. So keep that in mind. It's not, you know, this is not the most, in my opinion, aesthetically pleasing bag, but it gets the job done. Okay, so I know I just mentioned how the top pocket makes things look a little saggy. So you might be thinking, well, gee, I just, I won't put stuff in there or whatever because it, it sort of drags things down. But it is really convenient to use, so I still liked it. To get in, obviously, you know, you can go in these uh, this water resistant zipper and then you will see we've got two slip pockets here. Um, and then, so I've got my minimalist wallet there. I've got my AirPods. I even have a little lotion over there. And then, then you have just space for everything else. Said tissues that did not get wet in the rain. And now there is also this very nice long key leash, which it's the same cord that is on the zipper pulls and then it goes to a clip. It works really well, it's nice and long, so you can reach a lot of things maybe without taking the pack completely off. You're probably still gonna have to take the pack off. But the only issue I had was when I threw a bunch of stuff in here, including my phone, which I don't have right now, but when I had a bunch of stuff in here, then I would find the key leash getting buried on the bottom. And so then I'm trying to scrounge around to find it. And since it connects, can you see? It connects at the side here, as opposed to a lot of times they connect at the top. It does not connect at the top. So I find that when they connect at the top, it's easier to pull it out. Whereas the side is great because it's not getting caught in the zipper because it's like below the zipper, well, or behind the zipper. But on the other hand, it does make it a little harder to access minor details here really minor details then on the other side the other pocket we have going for us is a water bottle pocket we've got a little bit of elastic here but you cannot i could not squeeze a wide mouth bottle into here so just standard mouth it fits really well but i do have to say like if if you're experiencing turbulence on the plane or you're in the car and you slam on the brakes, hi, that was me, and um, you know this falls down, your water bottle will go shooting out. So especially like on the plane, you want to keep that in mind because you don't want it rolling up five aisles. So it's not the end of the world. It doesn't fall out unless there's a good force, but when there's force, it's gonna slide out. All right, to get into the main compartment, we have this nice big horseshoe opening. You can see how it basically allows you to see really nicely inside the pack. Obviously, keep in mind that you want this front pocket closed before you flop it down because otherwise your gear will fall out. I've got a laptop and a laptop case here because if you're gonna carry a computer, that's the only way you can do it. There's no additional padding for your device inside. Instead, what there is is there's this pouch where you can put a hydration pack and you can just hook it on there because you can't undo this loop. So you have to have one with a hook like I have here and then you can just pull that tube out and, ah, excuse me while I pull out the wrong side, pull out the tube and then it basically, because there's no pass through, you have to just lock the zippers into place around the tube, which then of course you could get moisture in there if you are hiking in the rain. So keep that in mind. And then you just pass the tube through here on the shoulder strap and it's right there ready for you to take a drink when you get thirsty. The rest of the main compartment, you can see it's just really open. So I liked using pouches and um, packing cubes and stuff in here. And like I said, the laptop case, because otherwise, you know, everything's just floating around at the bottom. Just be careful. Like I did find myself, usually I put the laptop case against the back and then that really made it a lot more comfortable to use than if you have all this little stuff sort of pressing up against your back. So 
you know, if you're looking for a lightweight hiker, this is definitely going to get the job done. If it, you're looking for more of an everyday pack, it, you're going to need some more pouches and cubes and sleeves to help you get through your day. So there you have it, the Bellroy Light Ready Pack. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.